Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. SMS Audio's Street by 50 headphones have already been around a while, but today we're taking a look at a new edition with a twist, and that twist is Star Wars. From the style to the included extras, Star Wars branding is everywhere with these headphones, and that's cool, but how do they hold up as a whole? Let's take a look. Even the box that carries these headphones is pretty Star wars up. Slide off the outer cover and the inner box folds open. On the inside of the lid is a pocket that contains the extras, while inside the box you'll find a microfiber cleaning cloth next to the carrying case. Inside this carrying case you've got the headphones themselves, as well as the 3.5mm audio cable, while in the extras packet you'll find a sheet of stickers, the certificate of authenticity, a poster, which in our case was a little rough looking, and finally, the manual. The Street by 50 First Edition Star Wars headphones come in four different varieties, Stormtrooper, Rebel Alliance, Galactic Empire, and Boba Fett. For this review, we looked at the Galactic Empire variant. Though these are technically on-ear headphones, they have a kind of half-on-ear, half-over-ear feel. They don't quite fit around your ears, but the ear pads are soft and pillowy enough that they conform to your ears well. While they were very comfortable at first, I noticed that the ear cups seem to heat up pretty quickly. These headphones don't feel especially flexible. You won't be in danger of snapping them in half when you put them on, but they do seem like they might be in danger in a backpack. Luckily, the included hard shell case, which is nice to see, definitely feels tough enough to keep them protected. If you're looking for Bluetooth connectivity or a full-featured remote control, you won't find it here. What you will find is a removable 3.5mm audio cable with an included mic and remote. The headphones use a standard connector, so there's no need to worry that the cable will break and you'll have a hard time finding a replacement. The remote is a simple one-button clicker style, which trades full functionality for compatibility with iOS and Android devices. It can be used to pause and resume playback and to answer and end calls. The microphone is fairly decent, and call quality when using these headphones was good. In testing these headphones, I listened to lossless audio played from a computer through a high-quality audio interface, as well as MP3s and audio streaming from a Motorola Moto X. I listened to music from a ton of different genres, as well as podcasts and audiobooks. For a short playlist of a few of the songs I played, check the video description. Starting with the lows, there's a satisfying thump in the low end, but the bass isn't overpowering. Most of the bass power lies in the lowest frequencies, keeping the higher bass frequencies free of mud. The mid-range is very present, though not to the point that it overshadows other frequencies. The highs are clear and detailed, though not particularly in your face. The biggest surprise came in the soundstage. This is a very big sounding pair of headphones with a wide open feel, especially in well-mixed songs. While some distortion is present when volume levels are pushed to the max, you need to go so loud for this to happen that it shouldn't be a problem. It's no secret that while there's a huge market for fashionable headphones, they're often snickered at by audio enthusiasts, and sometimes with good reason. With these headphones, you get both great looks and sound in one package. Yeah, $199 is a little steep for headphones that don't feature Bluetooth or active noise cancellation, but if you value great sound and looks over features, these are a good bet, especially if you like Star Wars. We're giving the Street by 50 First Edition Star Wars headphones an 8.3 out of 10. And that wraps it up for this review, everybody. If you want some more detail, check out the written review over at soundguys.com. We have a link along with a link to our forums in case you have any questions down in the video description. Want some more amazingly awesome audio stuff? Then you might want to subscribe to Sound Guys. And you know what? We have a button for that. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.